it's hard to ignore and even harder to understand. So what's going on in these swirls and squiggles? Quite a bit, according to gang experts. The two keys to deciphering these tags is knowing that letters are combined into single images and that numbers are used interchangeably with the letters. For instance, I and P are combined into IP, or Indian Posse. Or the numbers 9 and 16. I is the ninth letter in the alphabet, P is the 16th. Similarly, T and S combine into Terror Squad, or 20 and 19. So what does it mean when all the tags are mashed together on a single garage panel like this? Well, it means someone's on the outs with someone. Consider this, Hustle Crew 83 has a K sprayed over it, so it becomes Hustle Crew Killers, or Killers of the Hustle Crew. Gang cop Tony Landry says, at the very least, this shows that gangs that may have been neutral towards each other are now on the outs. And uh, so they are uh, disrespecting the other gang uh, by graffiti uh, covering uh, that particular gang's uh, tag on that particular garage or fence. And uh, so you start to see that there's a little bit of a power struggle and disrespecting uh, within the rival gangs. Drive through alleys in any neighborhood and there's a good chance you'll find some tags or graffiti. It's proof to Landry that gangs are in every neighborhood. I mean, we, we have gang activity that's taking place throughout the whole city. Um, so there's, uh, there's, uh, there's no area within the city that, there, that isn't touched by, uh, by gang activity. So what happens if you have gang tags on your property? Well, Tony Landry says, call the police and then paint it over. They'll help you interpret what's on your property and tell you whether there's gangs expanding into your neighborhood. Dan Zakreski, CBC News, Saskatoon.